Crook Hill forms part of the dramatic skyline around Lady Bower Reservoir. Starting off at the car park near Hurst Clough, the route begins with a short stretch of lakeside walking, followed by a steep but short ascent past Crook Hill Farm and up to the twin summits of the hill. The highest point along the walk is crossed, as Bridge End Pasture is passed, which leads to the gentle descent through the woodland at Hackside. This in turn leads back to the lakeshore path and back to the car park. Welcome to a beautiful evening here at the spectacular Peak District National Park. Today I'm completing a four and a half mile walk, taking in the 374 metre and 382 metre twin summits of Crook Hill, overlooking the spectacular Lady Bower Reservoir. The route begins by heading down to the permissive lakeshore path and heads south through woodland to open pasture with breathtaking views up to the surrounding peaks of Dovestone Tor and Wynn Hill. As you head further south and nearer to the A57 bridge over Lady Bower, there are distant views to Bamford Edge on the skyline, which also marks the crossing of a minor road to join the path that ascends through grazing fields and up towards Crook Hill Farm. On the other side of Crook Hill Farm, the path enters open access land and meanders its way west between the Twin Peaks and splits to the left to ascend the final few metres to the lower south summit. The outstanding panorama includes the great mass of the Kinder Plateau, Wynn Hill to the south, Bamford Edge, Lady Bower Reservoir and the northern end of Stanage Edge and Dovestone Tor. A path leads across the top and down to the depression between the two peaks before a short, steep ascent to the higher of the summits at 382 metres above sea level. The peak's north face is a craggy wall of shattered stone forming a dramatic foreground to the spectacular vista. Crook Hill might only be small compared to the surrounding neighbours, but there's no denying its beauty, tranquility and spectacular views. A faint path continues north down the ridge to pick up a bridleway that runs northwest over Bridge End Pasture and eventually onto a large pine forest. The views back to Crook Hill are inspiring, with a unique skyline prominent from this position.
As the pine forest is approached, there is a view down the length of Edale to the west, flanked by the High Kinder Plateau and the Great Ridge of Mantor to Loose Hill. A forest track descends east for a kilometre and eventually arrives down at the road and lakeshore path near a car park with the occasional view up to Dovestone Tor and Derwent Edge. Once the lakeshore path is joined, it's a simple walk back to the car park at Hurst Clough. <laughs>